filled the tank up and it means it's just time for a bigger tank so we uh, are still got a couple of cows left but we're going to use that for cheese and for maybe some neighbors we'll put her to good use looks like buckets it is for the rest of it so we went up north to wisconsin and picked up a bigger bulk tank this is an 800 gallon tank and we're gonna it's like three hours away but got a good deal on it nobody wants small tanks so anyway we're gonna take the the one we have in there out and replace it with this tank we got to take a look Okay, so we got everything ta taken out of the milk house here and we busted out a big hole to fit the new bulk tank through and we got the old one in here. We unhooked the temp recorder and then this, the uh, deal that starts the compressor and we took the back cover off here. It's all kind of dirty but so we got this giant hole in the milk house now. And now we're waiting for our local dealer to come and uh, take out the Freon so we can put the new tank in. So we got all the lines disconnected and he's gonna solder them shut once we get the tank out of here. And then we're gonna we brought the other tank up here and we'll pop the straps off and get her moved in. Okay, so we've started putting things back together here. We've got this mostly the hole we got mostly put back, filled in. We put some plastic board up on the inside. And we got the tank in here. We gotta get it leveled out. That's what we're working on right now. So that's the next step. And then we'll get her wired and get the lines hooked back up. Okay, we got the tank installed and everything is hooked up there so we run the power for the agitator there we hooked up the temp recorder and the temp sensor that starts the cooler everything goes behind it but it's kind of hard to see because we're close here it takes up most of the most of the um, milk house here but anyway we have everything running and we had to add a little pipe to the drain where the melt goes into the actual bulk tank because this tank sits quite a bit higher and we need it to drain downhill. But anyway, we're happy to have it and the milkman can come every other day again. We're just gonna see. Now we got one milking in there, but yeah, it's actually looks it's got quite a bit of milk in it, so not sure how long this one's gonna last us, but. Hopefully until we build another milk house and maybe get a milking parlor in. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below. And uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm and we sure appreciate it.